Today's the day we begin on the foundation for the workshop. And of course, after what we witnessed a few months ago, which was Adam, our friend, he actually drilled through massive boulders and stones on our property and did a solid foundation for our bunkie and a second foundation for a project in 2025. Yes, we're planning that far ahead nowadays. Today, we are aiming to put in 24 piles on this pad and we've just confirmed it is half an inch from being level all the way around it is so perfectly level this 40 by 40 pad is flat basically with a little bit of a slope let's catch you up we're building a machine shed for our off-grid homestead aka a home for our tractor clem this means a dedicated space for tools materials atvs and most importantly machines we crushed out the base by choosing the best location for the job excavated the area and graded it just right for the foundation for the huge delivery of two 40-foot shipping containers. We're choosing to reuse shipping containers for this build as it's a cost-effective approach to construction and storage. It reduces waste by repurposing steel containers that would otherwise sit unused. Containers are durable, secure, and widely available. They offer a ready-made structure that requires minimal modification. They can be transported easily and provide instant shelter. I just can't wait. Can't wait to see all of these go in. We've got a whole crew here today and we just so happen to have four supervisors to go along with us. Look at this crew we have today. Yeah. As you can see, this area is very rocky. These boulders came out of the ground and all the boulders at the other house also came from this exact pad. So what we're doing today, well, I'm doing a whole lot of nothing, that's for sure, but I am supervising with the supervisors, woof woof. We are going to be drilling all the screw piles in. Then if we hit rocks, we're gonna mark the hole that we hit a rock in. Then we're gonna put Adam's hammer drill on the other side of that excavator tomorrow. That way we're not switching pieces 24 seven. Screw pile, one for one. We've hit a rock, which makes me wanna play a game now. How many rocks are we gonna hit? What do you guess, Krista? 17. I'm gonna go 18. Probably 20. <laughs> that supervisor is the one on duty. He's two years old. Of course, you're the only one that goes in here, eh? Second back corner is now in as much as it can. We've hit another boulder, everyone. Surprise, surprise. And that brings me to, a lot of you might be questioning and wondering, why aren't you girls doing the screw pile installation? Well, Adam has actually rigged up his machine with different pieces and parts, years of thinking how to put it together in order to have something that goes through rock and just trying to get screw piles in the ground back here would be very impossible without his rock smasher. However, I am going to maybe very politely ask Adam if I can try to drive a pile. I really want to learn, and if that was my machine, I would be rigging that up too. I just need to try, you gotta try everything once, you know? Not everything, but you know what I mean. I could watch this all day. This one's going farther. No? Hit a rock? Four for four. Well, I know I can sell rocks in my future. Oh, yeah. New game plan. Now that we have all four, we know that it's 100% square. We can make sure it's perfect. Yeah. We're just gonna drill every single hole and then every single screw pile. That means little digger's working hard. Yeah, I said I had the day off today to work for tomorrow, but it looks like it has to go to work right now. All right. Live flash photograph, looking like a found a way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, to me. Did you have fun? I want one. <laughs> That's Let's a cool that. contraption. And you're constantly moving just back and forth. Because the arm is moving, right? 
So then wherever the red is on the halo, you want to go the opposite way of the red. So then you just push it. So sick. Full power, go. If you're starting to put it together and see that there are two rectangles <laughs> about 24 feet apart and all these screw piles sticking out of the ground, you know, they're quite close together, you can probably put it together and figure out what we're doing here. Hint, um, hint, eight by 40. Hint, hint, eight by 40, yeah, exactly. So it's going to be awesome. Do you know what we're doing? Because if you do, tell everybody in the comments. Yeah. So we have eight out of 24 piles in, they've all hit raw. And now we're gonna be switching the attachment so that way we can put on the hammer driver drill, whatever it's called, Adam's invention. Screw pile attachment, rock hammer attachment. Because what's happening here is we've got loads and loads and loads of boulders, as you know, actually a field of rocks, so that's kind of why we called Adam in to begin with, because he has the ability to get through these rocks. So just like last time, we are going to drill into complete stone and there's gonna be dust and small rocks flying everywhere because we are literally drilling into stone. Let's crush some rocks. Just hammer through that rock, it never gets old. This is my favorite part when we actually start going through the rocks and I can visually see clouds of rock dust coming out of the earth, meaning that we're making progress. I've watched 12 in my lifetime and I'm about to watch 24 more. All right, so right now with the second auger, it is high speed, low torque, because before we were lo working low speed, high torque. So with the help of the machine, his full setup, and that massive air compressor, this thing is ripping through it. <laughs> yeah. It's really sunny too, eh? We could install some solar back here. <sighs> Serious. It gets good <laughs> winter sun. You could throw a couple panels on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris, I've never seen you work so hard. Yep, I stepped on a string. like to tell you about the sponsor of this week's video, Raycon. I am in my running girl era. Better take these off so I can hear you. New feature, they do have noise cancellation if you need to drown out the noise. Really good for flights. These are Raycon's latest model. There's tons of really cool new features, but the first thing I need to say, the thing that I love so, so much, these are so, so comfortable. They don't fall out. I don't even feel like they're in my ears. They're such lightweight. They're also weatherproof and sweat resistant and you have 32 hours of battery life. That's wild. It's fantastic. Anyone is going to love these and the best part is, is that Raycon is an inexpensive option when it comes to earbuds. It's time to save big this Black Friday and Cyber Monday with Raycon. They're offering up to 30% off site-wide. To our subscribers, click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com forward slash fanwives to get yourself a pair of the everyday earbuds. And I forgot to mention, they have the most amazing colors. You don't have to get black. You, Remy, are one funny dog. Oh, that's a big jump. I was just checking out all the holes and they've already started to fill up with water. So not only is our area super rocky, but it also we have so much groundwater where we live. And that's just another reason why screw piles are just far superior than sonotubes. Sonotubes, yes, it'd work, but doing 24 sonotubes would one, be a mess, two, probably be roughly around the same price after all is said and done with the amount of gravel, concrete, and excavating hours you need, where a screw pile is just pop it in the ground and it's done one cost, not 
hours on hours on hours trying to manage with water. It's hard to imagine putting 24 sono tubes in a 40 by 40 pad like this with the terrain that we have, where you have to dig out all the boulders, something so large that you can set a sono tube properly and then fill it with concrete. And the timing with that, as we all know, sono tubes don't like water. <laughs> nah. And so this is such a smooth application. I am so happy we made this decision. I'm so happy Adam is really smart and rigged this up because yeah. without Adam, we wouldn't be able to do screw piles because no other company in all of Nova Scotia has this. These screw piles are so versatile, which is so awesome. They have many applications and this is one of them. And it's so cool to see it unfolding and see it happen and you're watching it happen, go right through up. It is that time of year where it is, it's been chilly today, honestly, all day. Although the sun is shining, it's really quite cold and it's the perfect time of year for a fire. Guitars. I wanna get in as many fires as I can too before we an apple cider. Depart. Oh my gosh, I haven't been this warm since I left my bed this morning. <laughs> Piles looked cool during the day. They even look cooler at night. They are they are on a mission, those guys right now. Working till literally dark. It's like a little after seven. And their idea is, I think it's tomorrow is Friday, extra long weekend if they get out of here early. And they're putting all the piles into the holes. That way we can just screw them in tomorrow. God is in my days and then Muse, I ain't refusing. You're all mine. <laughs> 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 Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> any day, any day, you can have them. <laughs> You got the morning off? Yeah. There you go. I just, I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> he's just gonna finish up, he's got it. I mean, he's got his own car. <laughs> yeah. He's able to drive himself. Exactly. We need to talk about last night. It was the perfect autumn evening. It was crisp, it was cold, the fire was going to keep us warm. We had amazing company and really, really good chats. But to top it all off, we had hours of the northern lights here over the cabin for the first time ever. The sky was dancing, it was blue, green, pink, and it was really such a unique, special experience. Perfect evening. So perfect. Are you playing? We have a total of 16 screw piles in the ground and cut all to the same height and they will be getting caps. What's so cool about this foundation is now that we're at this point, it is so sleek and almost non-existent. You really don't see the foundation and just look at it. It's just a pole sticking out of the ground. So on top of that will be a cap, which will then hold the structure, but I just love love this technology. I'm looking around and I'm just like, it's amazing. It's, it's so good. <laughs> All in two days. Adam just forgot a little bit of things, eh? An entire bag of dog food. <laughs> Izzy and I are ready for the news. Oh, just kidding. Izzy uh, walked okay. to the other side of the couch. <laughs> She's right, so ready? rude. Option one, they bring just the 18 wheeler and if it doesn't work, they have to drop it somewhere and they can either bring the truck back tonight or tomorrow morning. Option two is they bring both 
trucks today. Do we want it dropped in the parking pad? Hopefully, or... Yeah, like, as long as they get it, like, just off of our driveway and off of the road. I mean, there's no one coming up right now, anyways. That's not promised. That's the thing. That's not promised. I think they're going to have a hard time with our driveway just the 18-wheeler. Okay, so the idea is we bring both trucks. I think, yeah. Unreal. Glad we came to the decision. What's coming is so big, we need a lot of space. These aren't ours, by the way. Neighbors left them at our house, but I've been acting like it's mine. <laughs> Welcome to the packed parking lot. If you could just head up onto the left, we need all of the space today as we have an 18-wheeler coming and a tandem truck. You tell her where to go, Izzy. All right, girl. Have a nice day. Good girl. Come. I'm an amazing doggy. I'm an amazing doggy. I'm an amazing doggy. Woof! Oh. Hey, pay up. 20 bucks a day. 20 bucks a day? For what? Parking. You didn't even park my car, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't even ballet. Okay, now that we have our drain line, electrical line, 24 screw piles, and a beautiful flat transit pad done with four to six inch gravel and then some crusher on top. We are ready for the next step. Oh, and let's not forget, even had to build up the road for a gradual slope up to our 50 by 50 pad. Fun. Now comes an even more fun part and that's using another attachment on the excavator that we all haven't used together. One of the attachments we've been the most excited to use. However, yeah. it is a little tricky. For all of our excavator friends, which attachment do you think we're putting on after making a pad? Pick your pick. Perfect, curl it. It's okay. Okay. Oh my God. Tangerine's intestines. <laughs> if you guess compactor, you're right. We're using the compactor. And because we're using the compactor, we need to change the valve. Bye All bye. right. So. Boom. Let's attach those hydraulic lines then. Hey, here we go. Hydraulic lines again. We learned some tricks. We went back to our notes. AKA videos. Oh my gosh, this one wants to come on. Yeah, they're oh, gonna be we better just, now. We just changed it. Right. Yo, look it. Yo. I wonder if I can do that. <laughs> I literally just pulled that one down in 2.2 seconds. It should be that easy. It's not that one. Hard. I know, there we go, <laughs> on. Jeez. It's a two person <laughs> kind of gig. Woof, there we go. Ooh. All over my sweater. Well, that's what it's for, right? Okay. Still. Yeah, one sec, just wait. Okay. There we go. It all depends. Like how that, lined up that is. It is no, it's not even that. It's the extra push at the end. Like, yeah, you think it's in, but this has to be like really pushed up to release this to move. Good job. Now that we have the valve switched, we have the attachment on and the hydraulic lines attached, we are gonna start the machine. Yo, nice pre-check. <laughs> and switch it to switch our aux to hammer mode. Hammer mode. Hammer mode! You see everyone? We are in hammer mode. So now we can hammer. It's in the air. It's a beast. I love it! Oh! Look at that! Oh! Let's get this party started! I like this. It's cool, eh? Oh my god, it looks so perfect. I have to say, it's been really fun getting to know all the different Kubota attachments. So that way, one day when we get our very own tangerine. <laughs> Did you we just say you want to get our own excavator? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Good for everything. Uh, every project begins with tangerine. We 
got the hang of it. It just took a minute, as does everything. So we were kind of just like going around and trying it out and now we're going in a backwards line. Uh, that way we don't muck up the pad with the excavator track uh, treads. And then um, it's just gonna be the smoothest this way. It's looking really good, really compact, really flat. I love it. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. She's having fun. It's all that matters, right? Welcome. Just how you like it. I did. <laughs> Remember our stamper? It's looking pretty flat. And it's like actually compacted. When we use our stamper, we can only go as hard as strong we are, right? You approve? Is it nice on the paws? Are you out there? Yeah. Check out my turkey sandwich. <laughs> looks so good. Mmm. Wow. What? So good. Mm -hmm. The container is supposed to be here at 1 p.m. It's now 10 to 6. Oh, it's almost 6 p.m. Sorry, I'm so distracted because there's like five blue jays flying around here. So yeah, it's almost nighttime. As you can see, the sun is going down so early because it's now winter, almost. And <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, still waiting <laughs> like five hours later for this container. So I'm honestly starting to think I should just get changed, take my work clothes off. <laughs> and get into some comfy clothes and move on with my day because what else am I doing right now? Hello? Hi, do we need anything else like butter or are we okay? <laughs> Don't forget to get flour, eggs and butter. <laughs> I need to know, I'm going in a circle on a roundabout right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, uh, no, we don't particularly need anything this evening. Did we get scammed? <laughs> no, oh, I God. doubt it. Well, I hope not. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, I love you. Come on, girls. Come on. Girls. You gonna stay outside here? Hi, 7 a.m. Got a call. They're gonna be here in 10 minutes. So, let's hope they're actually going. We don't even know if they're gonna show up. How this is gonna get down our driveway, or better yet, how it's even gonna get down our road. So, I've made it to the entrance of our road. The gate is unopened. Check. Yay! It's here, everyone, it's here. One out of two is at least. Oh my gosh, I literally can't wait. Yeah, okay, so you're going down this road here. Yeah, and like back to the back there, as close as you can get it. Okay, a few things. That is the biggest, longest thing that has ever come down our driveway by far. I am so impressed that they're even here right now. So full rundown, that thing came on an 18 wheeler. At the beginning of our road, they transferred it onto this truck because you can't legally yeah. drive a shipping container of this size on a small truck like that on the main roads and highways. Now that we have it on this truck, they are slowly making it around this corner. We didn't plan for this. So the road is pretty, pretty narrow. This was just supposed to be an extra road. And here we have this massive 40 foot shipping container on a truck <laughs> backing down it right now. I'm so impressed. This thing is absolutely massive. It is huge huge container. This is going to be so spacious. I can't even wait to begin this project now. That was easy. So easy. What? And to everyone who said we wouldn't do it. Yeah, we Larry. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many people I can't even count laughed when we said we were bringing a 40 foot shipping container down here and all within a matter of a few minutes. It's just about there. Jazz, how far up? What's easiest? Clementine is gonna be so happy. It's actually massive. I think Clem will fit in there, as it is. You think? Yeah. 
Can you get over the fact that this is here? No, and on the pad, everyone. We're building a shipping container machine workshop. I can't wait. On. Thank you. This road is the best thing that ever happened. Should have listened to you earlier. <laughs> wow. You know how this goes. The life is always right. <laughs> that means me too. <laughs> We actually had so many backup plans for our backup plans if this couldn't get here because we were under the impression that it wasn't gonna make it. And ta-da! Ta-da! Magic!